brief video demonstration um, showing you how to set up mastery paths for student learning. Uh, so the first thing that you need to do is, of course, you need to turn mastery path on per course. And so the way that you do that is you come over to settings. Um, by default, it's going to come to your course details. So you'll need to choose the fifth tab over to the right called feature options. And you can see mastery path listed here. Um, and then you just simply toggle that on to, to activate it in your course. And you will need to do this for each course. So mastery paths is a great way for you to personalize student learning. Um, you can, and it has to be set up in your module index because it's based upon an initial assessment followed by pathway examples. And you can use in each pathway, you can use quizzes, you can use assignments, and you can use pages. If you do use pages, you need to make sure that you check the box in the edit mode that says use for or add to mastery path. Okay, so I found this um, module on in the commons um, and I wanted to make it um, I want to build it based upon mastery paths. And so you can see here there are several items in this module. So what I want to do first is I want to have an initial assessment that's worth five points. Okay. Um, and so as you know, with your assessments, quizzes, and assignments, and so forth, you have to make sure that you assign it either to everyone or to a section. In this case, I'm going to assign this one quiz to everyone, but I'm also going to make sure that I assign each one of these subsequent assessments right here to mastery paths so that it so that you'll see that in the student view in just a few minutes. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here to uh, the to the quiz and I need to go ahead and set up what that mastery path will look like. So I'm going to come over here to edit. Now that you've created or activated mastery paths, you'll see this option for mastery paths. I've set all of my details. I've assigned this to everyone. So now I'm going to click on mastery paths. You have basically three levels based upon the total points of the of the um, assessment. So there's total of five points. So this is five to three point five. And then you can see um, uh, two, one to two points and then zero points. And so based upon the results for the students, um, they're going to have uh, a specific pathway of learning. So let me show you how to do this first level and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done. So I'm going to click add and I'm going to choose two, two specific uh, additional assessments, this uh, uh, quiz and then this a Disney lyrics trivia. Now, I don't want them to do both. I want them to have a choice. So I simply click on the and. And so now based upon the results here, they will be able to either do Disney Trivia Master Challenge or Disney Lyrics Trivia. Now let me show you what this looks like once it's all completed. So you can see now this is what it looks like when it's completely set up based upon student res results. So if a student scores um, anything less than 3.5 to 2 points, then um, they'll have to do the name matching or um, fill in the blank and then Disney Master Trivia. Okay. And then finally, if they score in this range, they have to do both of these. Now, I could easily remove these items by clicking on the uh, three dots and then remove where I can even edit the point value based upon the overall points of the of the uh, quiz. So now let me show you what this is going to look like in the module view and then show you from the student view, because I think it's going to be important to see how this is going to look for for students. And so from a teacher perspective. It's going to look like this. You can see this is what's setting up the mastery path. And then you can see that these items are in multiple pathways. Now, let me show you what it looks like from the student view. So you can see now from the student view that all of the items are locked until this initial quiz has been assessed. Now, if you do use assignments, those will have to be manually graded and assessed before any of the items will unlock. OK, so now let me show you uh, some some mastery path considerations. Teachers will need to consider the following items. And we've talked about a few of these, like pages have to be marked and able to mastery paths. Conditional assignments have to be graded if they're not a quiz or a new quiz. The other consideration is this known issue relating to grade pass back. Um, uh, because this is personalized and individualized, uh, teachers uh, will not be able to pass grades back using mastery paths. That's why like a final assessment or final project will be value add. You can pass that back once they complete the mastery path. So I hope that helps. This gives you some, uh, some guidance on how to set up mastery paths for student learning.